The Self-Advocacy Advisory Committee started three years ago. I am the advocate associate, so I kind of do the agendas, last minute meetings, take attendance, um, make sure everything is organized and everything is ready before the meeting. The purpose is, it's kind of really cool, is because we have really cool speakers that come. Um, we talk about transportation, legislation. Then we have a really cool discussion about what the speaker was. And currently we're working on the Olmstead plan right now. So it's kind of like a different variety of topics that we work on as a self-advocacy advisory committee. Just starting the committee three years ago has kind of changed my life a little bit because it brought me to being a peer mentor at Merit, creating my own position with some great opportunities. Also, it gave me an opportunity to be an advocate associate, a paid staff, to work with self-advocates and help others in what they want. Because that, that was kind of my dream job is to help other people and wanting to be a staff. And now I am. <laughs> so it kind of worked out in my favor but also I know it, it can bring me through a journey for life. So, I mean, you know, journeys, you go up and down and around and around, but once you're on that straight path, I, I think you can nail it. And that's what I did. Yeah, I kind of joined it because I think it was very important for me to do that because that I was trying to get into politics, and I think it's time that we should step up for the disabilities to um, get not just their voice heard, but let everybody know that we're here to stay and we're ready to step up and let it know that we're not going to go away. I, I got to start thinking about myself, not just others, you know, because I think it's time to get myself ready and prepared what's coming. So that's basically why. It's very important, I mean, there are ways of getting involved. I interned for Keith Ellison's re-election campaign in 2012 and as a volunteer, and, and it was the first time I had ever done an experience like that and I, would recommend that to other people with disabilities. So it's very important because legislators, you know, they have to, you know, be putting face to the issue. So it's important that people with disabilities get out there, share their stories, you know. And in fact, I think that the testimony that I gave both against voter ID and Bert is in the Telling Your Story app, which is free from the Governor's DD Council. I'm in there and Katie's in there. There's a whole bunch of great example short stories to check out. Mm -hmm.